what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so i wasn't able to make the first half of the smackdown stream but i was able to catch it towards the, the middle towards the end um i was taking care of some stuff with my mom um got something interesting lined up for you guys with that so i can't wait to show you what's going on and with that uh it's gonna be pretty cool so be on the lookout for that got something special um that uh, has something to do with my mother so it's gonna be pretty cool uh but i was dealing with that but dub held down the fort on the live stream so shout out to dub for holding it down but i was able to catch the beginning promo segment with the usos and and what's going down with that so we're gonna talk about that because obviously that is one of the big highlights uh going into money in the bank uh next i want to say it's next week yeah so they start off the show usos come out there and they're about to say you know uh bloodline you know do that little catchphrase with the bloodline but uh jimmy stops him stops jay from saying it he's like you know basically you know the usos are here you know acknowledging themselves or whatnot and basically this promo was to pretty much explain why they did what they did they did what they did because they felt disrespected by roman they were a dominant faction when roman had respect for them even though technically he's never really truly had respect for them he's always used them to his advantage it's just they were winning so that's why everything was good it wasn't until they lost at wrestlemania that the respect finally went out the window visibly for them to see so they're talking about that you know we're blood we're family we did what we did because you know there was no respect you know and, and jay's feeling a little bit remorseful he's like dang we're about to go to war with our family our blood like we're really about to go to war and jimmy's like well you know they roman forced our hand and i even like the fact like yo we still love you roman we still love you we still care for you but trust me when I say this, you still got to get, you still got to get these hands, man. These hands are, hands and feet are rated E for everyone, you know? So you got to get the smoke because you've been disrespectful. They also called out, um, um, they also called out Paul Heyman, pretty much saying he's the snake. <clears throat> you sat up there and say you have respect for our family, but you try to put a wedge between me and my brother. You're a snake. You've known us for so many years, and this is what you try to do. You're a snake. You're not even really blood. You're around the family. You're outside, but you're not really blood. You're like the snake or whatnot. And um, it's, it's, it, it was a good promo. You know, they even brought back the Uso penitentiary. It's been a long time since they brought that up, that saying. So it's good to see that the Usos are, you know, saying pretty much standing their ground. And this should be an interesting matchup um and uh i enjoyed the segment you know it, it, it got the message across i'm really going to be looking forward to seeing how their interaction is going to be a week before uh before the show because the show is going to be in london on friday so uh, i'm really interested how that crowd's going to react to them should be a good time um so i do know there was a segment um i want to say backstage there was like a segment backstage where uh, solo is walking with paul Heyman, and i guess rich holland accidentally bumps into him i think he's like on his phone and he's like yo you know watch where you're going type stuff and uh solo proceeds to send rich holland to the gulags i guess he's upset he sends rich holland to gulags with the <clears throat> the samoan spike rich holland is selling it like he's literally dying on the ground like <laughs> he was selling it like he he got murdered with that Samoan spike. <clears throat> so because of that, Sheamus is like, nah, 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 nah. You want to fight? We gonna fight. So th they set up a match between Sheamus and Solo. And I must say, um, uh, it was the main event. I must say that match was hard hitting as I expected. Pretty good. I enjoyed the match for what it was. So definitely they <clears throat> both guys look strong in the match. But the, the objective here was to make people kind of buy into the fact that Solo is, he's like a, he's like a, a mad animal now. Like he barely can be contained. He's out here attacking random people that bump into him. Uh, and as, as this match goes, uh, I want to say, um, what was I about to say? Sheamus, uh, he got, he got, you know, slammed onto the table or whatnot on the outside, announce table. Then he got dragged over to the barricade 
and uh pretty much solo runs at him full speed hit him with that hip attack or whatnot through the barricade even though he really didn't hit him he just hit the barricade but you know Seamus sold it like he got murdered but he didn't the camera angle shows him just hitting the barricade not Seamus really so at this point they're getting officials out there they call off the match because uh Seamus is pretty much uh you know he's he's he, he's out he's done for and uh it looks like solo's about to go in and, and and go in for the kill like he's about to finish him off even more he's really about to send him to the upper room with his homie ridge holland he uh solo's attacking officials or whatnot you got jason jordan out there he's now one of the 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 backstage producers officials or whatever <laughs> trying to separate things it's cool seeing kurt angle's son you know doing <laughs> doing well in wwe <laughs> So it was cool seeing him out there trying to calm down Solo or whatever. And that's when the Usos music hit, which I figured it was going to happen. He comes out there or whatnot. Solo gets in the ring and uh, he gets super kicked into oblivion. Just super kicks here. Jimmy gives him a super kick. Jay gives him a, hoop, a super kick. Then they give him stereo super kicks. And then uh, as he's trying to get back up, they give him some more super kicks for his trouble. And then they go for the stereo uh, frog splash. Didn't look too good because he was kind of out of position. Wasn't fully in the middle of the ring. So it, it didn't look like they really hit him at all. So that didn't look too good. But other than that, man, it got a nice pop from the crowd. The crowd enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Um, it was it was a good little segment. I will say I am definitely looking forward to this match. I'm really looking forward to how this is going to play out. I think this is going to be potentially, uh, it could be potentially match of the night. Just off the story alone because people are invested and they want to see how this goes. And I'm going to give my prediction on what should happen, what I would like to happen, and what I hope happens uh, on my preview predictions. I think you guys are going to like that scenario. A lot of you guys have actually uh, came up with this scenario too. And I think this would be the perfect way to set some things up for SummerSlam this year. Um, so, yeah. Overall, that's all I pretty much saw. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, I saw the last half of the show. Um, it was okay. Serviceable. The Uso stuff is the thing that uh, obviously people are invested in. So comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy the Usos promo and why they did what they did and leaving the bloodline? And are you guys looking forward to the Civil War? The bloodline Civil War. Are you guys looking forward to it? Because I know I am. It should be a good time at Money in the Bank. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel. Road to 150K and I am still young. Speed of YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See you on the next one. Peace.